there was a need to try and improve soils underneath homes that were going to be repaired to strengthen the soils which the house sits on. There's a whole lot of techniques that we can use on cleared sites when there is no home, but there's a huge amount of homes in Christchurch that are repairable. And so the challenge was how can we improve the soil that these homes rest on to make them perform better in future earthquake events. The basic process is um, normal horizontal drilling until the other side of the house where we dig up a hole and change the drill head to the mixing tool and the process starts when you start pulling the head back and pushing the grout visco mix through the drill head and mixing it with existing soil creating these beams. This is a brand new technique which was developed last year during the ground improvement trials. We carried out blast testing so putting explosives in the ground and setting off the charges to shake the ground which simulated earthquakes. With monitoring sensors in the ground, we were able to see how the ground performed and that showed us that the ground is performing much better than it was without beams. So we're now able to move on to a next phase and that's the Ground Improvement Pilot Project. I was approached to become involved in this pilot scheme through EQC of remediating the ground under the house without having the house demolished or removed. It was a very exciting prospect. I didn't know quite how they were going to do it, so I was really interested in that factor. And as I've found out, it's actually really a world first. Well the unique method is, I'd say, you actually don't have to remove the house. So you can leave the house on where it sits and just drill the beams under the house and whatever remedials there is inside the house or outside the house can be done on site. Depending on the width of the property, there's roughly 28 beams. There's two layers, so there's bottom layer and top layer of beams. The cement visco mix is basic cement and visco, and the visco makes the fluid easily pumpable. The marsh cone testing is done after every beam is being constructed to make sure that everything is within the tolerances. When the beams are constructed, we take a sample and we want to make sure that each and single one of those beams is correctly mixed and the mixture is accurate because Quality assurance is a really important part of the project. Everybody hopes that this is going to be a method that's going to be used on the existing, uh, existing houses, and I have faith in this project. If we did have another event, well, I'm quite pleased that I'll be quite safe and secure on this land. The house won't be as damaged and it won't be as traumatic. I've been very lucky to be part of the development of horizontal soil mixing. It's been very rewarding from start to where we are now. We've come a long way. There's still some more development to go and hard yards to put in yet, but we're on the right track. Everything's going really well and I think this is going to be uh, a, a big technique for the future. Mm -hmm.